What's going on everybody? Hope you're doing well. Are you struggling to catch some of these suspended fish that are out in the ditches during this winter season? I know a lot of people have uh, sent me direct messages to figure out how you catch these fish when you see them on the forward facing sonar. You're pitching different baits to them. They're just not reacting. They're not eating. Well, what I've figured out that works extremely well is I've got three finesse baits that I typically will use with these suspended fish down in the ditch. And number one, this is, this is the juice for you right here, is gonna be an extremely small hair jig. This thing is the VMC, I think it's a 3 16th ounce, so it's extremely light. I put that on a very light spinning rod and reel. This is a medium action with 12 pound cast X12 uh, braid, and I typically will run that to a seven or eight pound uh, fluorocarbon leader. But this bait works extremely well when you find those fish on your forward facing sonar, you can pitch this out, you can cast it a mile if you need to. And what I typically do is I let that bait just sit there and fall down to where the fish are. I'll pop it a few times, see if I get a reaction bite. If I don't, I'll just let that sucker sink all the way down to the bottom. A lot of times you'll see those fish just start straight down after it because they think it's a dying thread fin that they just cannot pass up. So definitely check out a small hair jig for some of these fish that you're just having a, a tough time catching. The second bait that I found extremely effective in catching these suspended fish is gonna be the Jason Christie bait. So Jason Christie, as you guys know, won the Bassmaster Classic in 2022 last year at Lake Hartwell. And in the mornings, he would go to the ditches and he would throw this forward facing sonar minnow. This is made by Yum. It's a great bait that's super, super finesse. -y. You can work it a bunch of different ways. You can jig it up and down. You can kind of just reel it really slow or you can pop it off the bottom if you want. But for today, we're talking about suspended fish. This works awesome for suspended fish. This is a 3 16 ounce ball head jig and it's got the three inch forward facing sonar minnow on it. This is a good color. I don't remember the name of it, but it's got green pumpkin and then pearl on the belly. As you can see, it's got a little uh, tail on it as well. So same thing, throw that out there. Once you see fish on your forward facing sonar, pop it a few times. I saw Jason doing it last year. He would just pop it like that and let it fall. Pop it like that and let it fall. And a lot of times, once again, just like the hair jig, these fish will dart down after it, boom, pop, pick it up and run with it. Last but not least, the third bait I typically use for those suspended fish is gonna be a swim bait. This swim bait is made by Cast. They're a lure company that came on the scene really a year and a half, two years ago, and they've made a lot of uh, a noise uh, in the bass fishing industry. They're making a lot of awesome soft plastic baits. They make some really good topwater baits, but this is called the Cast Prodigy. It's a three inch swim bait that is extremely durable. So unlike a Kitek, which I use Kitex as well, the Kitex, you're gonna have to swap those out. I mean. Every couple of fish, every few casts, they're ripping, they're breaking. This will last most of the day. So I've got this paired up with a uh, one fourth ounce tungsten ball head jig, jig head. And this works extremely well, reeling it through the water column, through those suspended fish, or slow crawling it on the bottom. So you can use that a couple of different ways there. Uh, that color was uh, Gypsy, which with overcast uh, weather today, you want to use something that pops a little bit more. So pink is, is a very effective color to make sure those fish can see that bait swimming through the water column. So that's kind of the, the three bait combo that I typically will use when I'm seeing fish on my forward facing sonar that are suspended, that are chasing those big balls of bait. And again, you got to figure out what presentation they want that day. Sometimes it's going to be just sit there and hold it in front of them. Other times it's gonna be quick little uh, pops. And then, you know, like I've found the most success with, I'll pop it once or twice in front of the fish, get their attention, then let that sucker fall down to the ground and they will dart back at, they'll dart down after it and pick it up and boom, you've got a fish on. So I hope that helps you guys catch more fish that are suspended. Those are very, very tough fish to catch, but if you can find the right technique and the right lure, one of the three that I just gave you, it's gonna help you put more fish in the boat. Appreciate the support, guys. Thanks for watching.